Danny, unfortunately, a familiar story for us. Yeah, look, um, on sort of first reflection of the performance, I think the first half was was good. We were you know, really competitive. We were on the front foot. We were aggressive. Um, you know, everything that, that I asked of the team was there, um, except for obviously the, you know, th that bit of quality in the final third, which has been lacking obviously for a while. Um, but, you know, we were on top. You know, we were, you know, arguably probably saying, you know, edging the game in terms of sort of territory and um, like I mentioned, obviously on the front foot, which which was great. It's what we asked of them. Um, and we got into half time, you know, in a good place. We've been believing, you know, that we can go on and, you know, cause them more problems, which we, which we didn't do, but we should have. Um, and the game, you know, as a whole was very sort of nip and tuck. There wasn't much in the game at all. You know, few chances, you know, at, at each end. Um, and obviously that you know the chance that they took is from us simply just switching off from a, from a throw in um you know not getting back into shape early and you get you get punished you know at yeah. this level you still get punished for for switching off um it's something that we can control because it's something that a player you know you just get back into your shape and and that's it um but we've been punished and obviously that's where where we are and it feels like those things are obviously going going against us at the moment so you've got to try your best to eliminate, you know, opportunities where that happens. So you, you can't argue with a linesman if a decision go, doesn't go your way or, or a referee or, you know, or even with a teammate. You've got to get back into your shape nice and solid and then deal with the ball when it comes in. And, you know, we were a little bit disjointed when they took the, the, the throw in, which obviously led to, led to them scoring. Yeah. Ironically, we had more shots on target than them in the game. Well, uh, we so we we create. We, I wouldn't say we created any clear cut chances. Mm. Uh, we didn't do that enough. We created some opportunities, um, which yeah, we, you know, Cam's held his hand up. He's had three shots in in decent areas of the pitch, which he should do better with. Um, keepers, you know, not really been tested in, in those moments, um, and we've got to we've got to areas that we wanted to um, a lot in terms of you know in the final third in in wide areas and then we're just looking for deliveries in the box um and, you know when we did get to them areas the deliveries either you know were straight to the keeper maybe they went out of play and that was frustrating because you know we worked hard to get to those areas and obviously you, d you don't want to be wasteful w when you do get there credit to the lads though they kept on going right to the end didn't they trying to get that equalizer yeah listen i, I can't i can't fault the, the player's effort um you know we had you know, Little's out on his feet with mm. with you know five ten minutes to go, and you know he's obviously not played for a while. Just come back from injury. I thought thought he thought he was excellent. Um, Jas as well, you know, come in and, and obviously not played for a while. So we had lads in there also that that played three games in a week, which I know is you know is expected of them. That's that's their job. Um, but the effort, you know, like I, said, I can't fault the effort. I say the game was was nip and tuck. There was nothing in the game in, in terms of. Um, you know, chances at each end, clear cut chances. You know, I spoke to the players and I was like, the difference was we switched off. Mm -hmm. We switched off from uh, from the ball going out of play, and we got punished. And you know, at this level, like I mentioned before, you, you'll get punished at this level for that. Yeah, and now we've got to pick the lads up again uh, for the remaining games. Start with Kings Lynn this Saturday. Well, again, it's, it's another huge game for us. Obviously, a team that's um, in and around us. Um, Spit said to the players, um, that's what I said to them on Thursday as well, in terms of together is the only way uh, that you can get yourselves out of these situations. And it's obviously hard work, being the hardest working team. Um, and that's the only way we can do do that moving forward. Um, you know, I said we've got nothing out of the, the last week, um, which has been obviously bitterly disappointing. Um, so we need to look after the lads sort of physically and just make sure that they're best prepared as possible going into the game uh, this time next week. It's frustrating as well, isn't it? Because we've had the opportunities to win because all the clubs, virtually three, four clubs above us, have been losing as well. For example, Rush All Olympic. We still kind of get, get, mm. get close to them and they're still eight points ahead of us. Well, it just shows you obviously where, where the league is in terms mm. of teams obviously not picking up points. Mm. Um, and if you do obviously go on some type of a run uh, and get, gain some momentum, then you know, you'll quickly find yourself sort of maybe out of the position that you're in or certainly mm. in and amongst it. And that's just what we have to do. Um, I know we've obviously lost the game and it's difficult to, to take positives from the game. Um, I completely understand that. Um, there are positives from the game. Um, I say the lads were, were really competitive and, and aggressive and, and on the front foot for, for, for periods of the game. Of course, that has to be sustained for, for 90 minutes, absolutely. Um, and we have to be better in the final third. We need to take, take better care. 
Um, you know, when we are there, whether it's a, a pass going wide, whether it's a, a setback to then cross, all the actual delivery of our crosses, all, all those elements to, to our play in the final third need to be better, must be better. Um, and we'll, we'll certainly be working on that as best we can with, with the group that we've got. Yeah, the, the key thing is we haven't given up on this yet, have we? Oh, no, of course, no, absolutely. There's 22 games games to go, of course, and you know a hell of a lot of, of points to play for. And like you said, there's teams that are still around us, you know, aren't picking up points as well. Um, so, albeit you know, in the last week we we've not um, made a penny ground. I don't think we've obviously lost you know too much ground either. Um, so yeah, you know, we have to galvanise be together it is in my opinion the the only way that a team in this situation can come out of it um i think the atmosphere within the, the ground was was good as well um i think that certainly helped the players particularly in the first half when i think we gave in terms of our performance and our endeavor we gave the fans you know something to to cheer about and, mm -hmm. and to that they felt encouraged as well um we didn't think we did that enough in, in the second half uh, where we sort of got on the front foot and were as aggressive. And obviously when what's been a, an issue for us obviously is, is going behind and, and being able to deal with that. You know, we didn't really um, take the game as much to them as, as I would have liked once we went the goal down. Yeah. But hopefully turn it round in training this week ahead of next after. Well, listen, we, in, in regards to training, obviously we just got to do as, as much as we can, like I said, in terms of preparing the players uh, physically as well as mentally. Um, there's obviously a few players that have played three games in, in a week. Uh, you know, a, a big effort. So we need to make sure that, that those guys are, are right. Um, and the lads that, you know, that have been in around it or obviously played, you know, part of those games, they need to be ready physically as well. So there'll be, you know, obviously a balance throughout the week. Um, but of course, opportunities to, to work on. Obviously, there's a lot of things to work on and we'll do that.